In this video, we will be looking into the Invoices module in Zooper. An invoice can be converted directly from a quote or can be created from a job. It can also be created independently in Zooper. The Invoice Listing page shows you all the invoices that have been created in Zooper, and to your left, you have your sorting of the invoices, which can be sorted based on the invoice number, reference number, date, due date, or creation date in ascending and descending orders. Followed by that, we have quick filters that can be created based on your requirement, and to your right, we have the filters. The invoices can be filtered based on the organization, current status of the invoice, job, and other criteria. To create a new invoice, you can click on the New Invoice button right from the Invoice Creation page and select the customer. Once the customer is selected, by default, the customer's address can be selected as well. If the service address is the same as the billing address, you can select the checkbox Same as Service Contact to mark the same service address after which you can select the quote which the customer is linked to. A quote can also be directly converted to an invoice. By selecting the quote, the line items from the quote are automatically populated into the invoice. Followed by that, we can select the invoice date, the due date, the payment term, and the invoice template. Here you can see the line items that have been added. You can make changes to these line items or add any special discounts to a particular line item. In this case, we're going to provide a $20 discount and update that line item. And any taxes that don't apply in this situation can be removed if required. This invoice can then be saved or sent directly to the customer. When you send the invoice, you can select the invoice body. You can select the default template, and the body will be auto-populated once you click on Send. This invoice is sent to the customer, and the customer can accept the invoice and make the payment from their end. Once the invoice is sent to the customer, we can also manually accept the invoice and update the payment. You can click on Mark as Paid if the payment is collected manually. Select the type of payment and provide a reference number if required. You can also check the Send Receipt slash Thank You note so that a receipt is sent to the customer once the payment is made. To your right, you see all the payment history details and the organization and customer details, and to the bottom, you see the respective quote and the job that is linked to it. Any attachments and notes that have been added show up at the end of the page. We hope this gives you an insight into how Zooper's invoice module works. If you have any questions, please reach out to us or click on the link in the description below to schedule a personalized demo with us. Thank you and have a great day.